Become a suicide bomber. Those words have been cropping up across London on fake Royal Navy recruitment posters. But these anti-Trident designs have sparked fury in the capital. RTUK's Harry Fear reports. Is she personally prepared to authorise a nuclear strike that could kill 100,000 innocent men, women and children? Yes. It's a hot topic and activists have long been finding novel ways to make their opposition to the UK's nuclear weapons system visible to the public. But these spoof Royal Navy recruitment posters have been seen around the capital this week and they're certainly attention grabbers. And the posters plug this website, royalnavy.org.uk. As you can see, the dark theme and humour continues here. One part of the site has this, how to commit nuclear suicide. A lot of the Trident debate comes around, you know, can we afford it or, you know, is, is it going to become obsolete? But actually, I think it's worth reminding ourselves that these are genocidal weapons that are suicidal in nature. The idea that the UK's use of nukes would lead to our obliteration too, in inevitable retaliatory strikes. The message then, that working on Trident submarines could be a suicide mission. Well, some have vented their dislike of the posters, upset at the rather heated direct campaigning. But the Trident security whistleblower William McNeely told RT the suicide mission message is not fake news. It's well known on board nuclear submarines that the Trident submarine on patrol will be the prime target in a nuclear war. Once the submarine starts launching, it will be easily detected by the enemy. They are ready and prepared to be suicide bombers. As of this broadcast, the Ministry of Defence hasn't yet returned our request for comment. I think we draw a line between an ethical line between us and the terrorists because they're willing to commit suicide to murder, brutally murder innocent people, but so were we. Well, the spoof posters were installed at night earlier this week by anti-advertising campaigners' special patrol group. By now, it's thought they've already all been taken down, but no doubt this subversive mission won't be their last. For RTUK, I'm Harry Fear.